Okay, we're ready for a short hop. Are you good to go? We are good to go. A robotic seaplane developed at the University of Michigan can take off and land on water all by itself. It's believed to be the first craft with both of those capabilities. It's a smart buoy, funded by DARPA, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, for its persistent ocean surveillance program. Its creators call it the Flying Fish, named after its inspiration. In my work here at the University of Michigan, I have the opportunity to spend a good deal of time working at sea. I'm a seagoing physical oceanographer. Uh, in doing that, I've had the opportunity to view flying fish as they scurry out of the way of, of a, a large threatening object such as a research vessel. And with some very rapid flicks of their tail, they pop out of the water, uh, extend their petrol fins, and soar directly over the waves, which is a very efficient place to be flying. So looking at both flying fish and pelicans on the sea surface, it struck us that uh, this would be a very efficient place to fly a buoy to make environmental measurements. It was a very sweet spot in the aerodynamic world. Flying fish is an electric vehicle, and it's designed to drift until its onboard GPS tells the craft it has floated too far. That triggers the takeoff sequence. Other GPS coordinates trigger the landing sequence. The takeoff is blind, and the landing is a shallow descent. A pilot doesn't respond to every movement of the ocean waves. Therefore, we, like the pilot, set a stable throttle and elevator command until we were able to break off the water. Because our sensors are giving us very good inertial data, but they don't let us know precisely where the water is, our approach to landing was to set up a very stable, shallow glide descent and have the airframe be strong enough that when we hit the water, we said, okay, there's the water. Flying fish is not remote controlled. The flight pattern and coordinates are pre-programmed. That's what makes it different from other unmanned aerial vehicles. This project, I think, is very unique because it opens up an entire new suite of possibilities, getting away from land, getting away from a support ship, getting away from support, period, where once we have energy harvesting capability, we can leave the vehicle, much like an ocean buoy, the difference is it can fly. For the University of Michigan News Service and the College of Engineering, I'm Nicole Cassell-Moore.